Hello, violins and violas. Today's a special day. Today we're going to start using fingers. Everything won't be just open strings. So we need to figure out how we're going to do that. So first, I want you to take your violin and put it back up where you had it, over on your left-hand side. You see that this, this left hand, it's up there near the black part, near the fingerboard. That's where our fingers are going to go, but let's figure out how to get them there. Our right hand still is, we can still wave to each other with our right hand. So take the violin back down. And look at this. Look, I want you to, you to make your hand look like this, where your second and your third finger are touching. So here's something we probably should talk about first. For violin and viola, thumbs don't count. They're not a finger. And our fingers are numbered this way. One, two, three, four. The baby one is four. So I want you to make those second and third finger, I want you to make them touching. They're going to be touching for quite a while on violin. So that second finger, he doesn't get to wander over next to one. He always stays next to three. Now, the other part that we need to talk about is over here on this side. Between the thumb and the first finger, there's a little V-shaped spot, right? The violin's just going to sit there. The violin's going to touch here, and it's going to touch here. It's not going to touch all the way to the bottom. <laughs> so there's always going to be this little hole down there at the bottom. So it's just going to sit there. It's, that's the only place on your left side that touches the violin except the fingers. So let's try this. Bring your, bring your um, violin up. Reach over with your right hand and hold the violin. We don't want it to fall into the ground. Make for me that two and three touching and bring the violin and let it just sit right between the thumb and the first finger. Just sitting there. It's got a little V for it to rest in. Now, scooch, scooch it back just a tiny bit. If it's way up here, move it back. It's going to be back away from the, the first tape. Now take your first finger and roll them. I think I need to stand up for this. Take your first finger and roll him up. And on the D string, put him on the tape, on the, D st on the first finger tape, the first tape. See how he's all curled up like a shrimp? Then take your second finger. He's going to go on the second tape. Third finger on the third tape. And notice those two and three are touching, just like we had been doing in the air. So take that, take that down. Keep hanging on over here with this hand. Make that shape that you need with the two and the three touching. Now the violin's just going to sit in the little V. First finger's going to curl up and put on the D string right over that first tape. Second finger on the D string just above the second tape and the third finger on the D string right above the third tape. Those are going to be our three new notes. Our third finger, which it's showing in your book, that third finger is G. The second finger is F sharp and the first finger is E. So now let's, let's try playing some of that. I'm going to scroll over to the second page, to page seven, and look at number 14. Violins on the top, violas on the bottom. Look at number 14. So this is my first finger on the D string. So put your first finger over the tape on the D string. The thing lots of people are going to want to do is this. That doesn't get to hold the violin. Nice straight wrist. That's why we gave you a shoulder rest so that you could have something to help you hold the violin up. 
So let's do number 14. You're going to recognize this song. We've done it with our other open strings. So with my first finger, one, two, ready, go. E, E, B, e, rest. E, B, e, B, e, rest. E, B, e, B, e, B, e, B, e, B, e, B, e, rest. So that's our first finger. Now, if we look back up to number 11, kind of doing these in a different order because I prefer to add fingers as opposed to take them away. So look at number 11. Number 11 is our F sharp, which is our second finger on the D string. So make your little V, set the violin in the V, or violin or viola in the V, and then curl your fingers up so you get number one and number two down on the string. So now that you've got number two on down on the D string, let's play number 11. One, two, ready, go. Rest. 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 Nice. Look now at number 10. Violin's in the top, viola's on the bottom. And you can tell from that clef at the beginning whether it's violin or viola. Okay, put your little V, set it in the V. Put your one on the first tape, your two on the second tape, and your three on the third tape. And now in number 10, we're going to play the third finger, which is G. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Rest. G, 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 G. Good. So now we've had some experience with our three fingers on the D string. Let me point one thing out about it. So a D was your open, E was one, F was two, three was G. That's in alphabetical order. D, E, F, G. Have some fun with this and get familiar with these three new notes. And the next time we'll play some songs using them. Bye-bye.